What's going on, everybody? Christian Ortiz here with Mod Atlas Media. Today, I'm going to show you how to clear your cache files, also known as deleting your temporary files on your MacBook. Doing this from time to time is extremely important because having these files will slow your computer down or prevent you from saving your files when your space is running out. Temporary files, also known as foo files, are created by your operating system when you're running or completing a task on your computer. Temporary files are needed when you are using programs or applications, as this is when additional storage must be created to accommodate extra memory and existing file usage. If you're entering the world of graphic design, photography, or videography, and use the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, or have any Adobe software such as Photoshop or Lightroom installed, every time you're using your software, temp files are being created in the backend. If your computer is running slow, or you're unable to save your files due to storage issues, it's time to delete these. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button on this video. And if you'd like to follow my other work, visit modatlasmedia.com. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's jump right in. Make sure that you click within your desktop so that you can access your Go option on the very top. Select Go To Folder and type in this folder path. Once you do so, click Go. This is going to open your library caches folder option. As you can see, I have a ton of files in here, each containing so many backup temporary files, taking up so much of my space. If you want to know how much space all of these files are taking up, there are a couple of ways to do it. You can either click and drag to highlight all your folders, or you can just hit command A to highlight every single one of them and you're going to right click on whichever file and then you're going to click get info yeah as you can see i accidentally selected the move to trash if you want to get all your files back all you have to do is click command and z simultaneously and there you have it they're back in the folder that you need after you reselect all your files you right click and select get info and you'll find everything you need to know about all of these files selected. As you can see, there are 107 items selected and 2.65 gigabytes of space that it's taking up on the back end. So I wanna get rid of them. I wanna delete them. So let's go ahead and delete them. Move to trash this time, this time for real. And don't forget, you're gonna to wanna to open up your trash can, and select all of the files that you just sent in there select them all and delete them as well 